What's up guys, gonna do a walkthrough of the new OS 4.0 for iPhone. Uh, right after I got this installed, I could kind of tell that it was already uh, laggy and sluggish. Just It kind of made my phone slow like when typing and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for the 4.0 software and I know a lot of links have been given out like to where people can download the 4.0 software. But do not update. Trust me, do not update. If you're on a lower version and you're jailbroken, stay there. If you update to the 4.0 software and you're not a registered developer, you will get your phone locked and you will not be able to do anything with it. That's what happened to this phone right here because I cannot get my UDID code to be, uh, even if I got a developer account, I couldn't register it with it. So I actually had to go buy this new iPhone the other day. Uh, but as you see, I did need a new iPhone anyway because my screen was cracked and my battery was horrible. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. As I said, do not update to the 4.0 software. Be patient. So let's go ahead and unlock the phone. As you see, we have the new wallpaper that comes on 4.0 uh, when it's installed. Uh, we have the wallpaper behind the icons. That's the first thing you notice. Uh, we notice that the calculator icon has a new icon. Amazing, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the thing that everybody's wanting to see, multitasking. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari, which is my YouTube channel. All right, so I already got my YouTube channel loaded up. I'm going to open up the Mail app. Uh, we'll look at the Mail app in just a few minutes. There's a new Mail app. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up the iPod app. And my mail's already updating now. So there we go. We got a few apps open. Now let's say we're in Safari. Double tap the home button. This is going to come up at the bottom, and we can scroll through all our apps that we got open. Sorry, move my phone. We can scroll through all the apps. I've got Pandora open. I've got Calculator open. Uh, calendar. I thought I had those closed. Now see, this is a problem that I think is going to arise. Uh, People or Apple said that uh, it's not going to drain battery life, but a lot of the time like people are going to forget to quit these applications and they are going to drain a lot of battery life. The uh, battery life is already horrible enough on the iPhone 3GS. I really think this is actually going going to like drain battery life a lot quicker. So let's go ahead and show you switching. So we're in Safari now. I'm just going to hit the iPod and uh switch is right to the iPod. Now if you want to quit apps, double tap the home button. Uh, hold down the icon and then a minus button will come up. You just hit that and then it'll go away and the app will crash or close. So we can do that. And that's basically just how multitasking works. You just hit the home button to go back. And uh, that's how multitasking works. You can switch between apps. I tried opening up Pandora. As you see, it is running in the background. But I couldn't get Pandora to play while I was doing something. Let me turn it down. So I couldn't get Pandora to, to play while I'm doing something. As you see, if I close it, it's going to stop playing. But when I open it back up, it is going to come... Uh, directly to that spot of the song where I was playing. So it's basically like the app stops exactly where you last had it. So that is multitasking on the new iPhone 4.0 software. Next let's take a look at the wallpapers. Uh, this won't take but a second. Let's go into wallpaper and we'll go into wallpapers and I'm going to go ahead and change it to the world background and then when you hit set it's going to ask you if you want to set as home screen, set as lock screen, or set as both. Let's go ahead and set it as both. And let's take a look at that. And now you see the world uh, is behind my icons. So the next big update was the mail app. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you see, it looks completely different. Uh, right here, we can have uh, we can go through our inboxes, and that will take you directly to your inboxes. We can go to all inboxes. This is the main new feature that everybody likes. Uh, I don't really like this because I've got so many mail accounts and so many spam emails on some accounts that I don't want to mix them all together. See all these emails right here? These are all spam. So yeah, it's a good thing, but not for me. Uh, we've got these, we can just tap these and it'll take us directly to our inbox. Uh, we can go down and browse the inboxes and or your emails just as you would before and see all the inboxes and everything like that. So that is basically how the mail apps work now. Pretty nice, uh, nice new feature with all the uh, mailboxes threaded into one uh, like feed and uh, I'm sure that's going to come in handy for a lot of people. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game center. There's not really much I can show you about it because I don't have any friends or any games played or anything like that. But it's basically just their social networking uh, game center, like for people that play games and stuff on the iPhone. You can see all your friends here. Uh, you can add new friends uh, by their email. Uh, you can search me, Ty's iPhone Help at Yahoo.com. I think it's the email I signed up with. Uh, we've got request, and you can see all your requests here, and that's basically how it works. Uh, you can say your status, you can type in something, I guess it's sort of like Twitter. Just say, uh, filming a video. Done. 
So that's the Game Center on the uh, iPhone 4.0 software. Next, let's take a look at the camera on the uh, new iPhone 4.0 software. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this up a little bit and zoom out just a tad so you can see this. All right, so I'm going to put my phone down here to show you. So if you tap the screen now, just with one tap, uh, it's going to bring up this, which will allow you to zoom in. You just bring the scroller uh, back and forth, and it will let you zoom in. The quality is not amazing when you zoom in, uh, but it does come in handy. And now we're filming video. Let's go ahead and start recording. We can hit the uh, screen to autofocus while recording, but no zooming while we are videoing, which is kind of crappy. They should have added that. Now, there is a few new features that I've came across uh, that they didn't really announce, and I'm sure there's a ton more. I think they said there's like a hundred other features that they didn't talk about. Uh, but when you're typing in Safari now, uh, if you hit like type in something like, and it brings up the URLs that you've been to, uh, you can see that now instead of just type having the URL, it actually shows uh, the name of the site above it, like the uh, title that's on the top of the page. Like if you go to it on a regular browser, as you see, it says Yahoo right here, and then URL. Uh, that's one little change that I noticed. Along with the text messaging app, now they have a search. If you go up, you can search through your uh, text messages. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So, that's about it with the 4.0 software. Uh, as I said, not really worth updating yet. I would wait till it's actually released this summer. Uh, if there's any more features added uh, when they release uh, different beta versions, I will probably do some updates on that and post some videos. So, stay tuned for that. Make sure you click the subscribe button for more videos like this. And, uh... I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.